Hey all of you, welcome back once again. In this video, I'll show you that what setup you have to do in your MetaMask app in your phone so you can interact with any blockchain dApp or any blockchain network. So perform the transaction, buying NFT, sending tokens, all of the tasks you can do right from your MetaMask app in your mobile device. So far, whatever project we have built, we have interacted with extension in our browser. But when it's come to using the Web3 application, we don't have extension in the browser. So we have to use any Web3 app which can allow us to connect with the application to perform the transaction. But but metamask is pretty popular and it's highly used as of now when it's come to crypto wallet so that's what i'm going to talk about it no matter what phone you have the process is exactly the same the configuration you have to do in terms of network verification in terms of chain id in terms of rpc endpoint in terms of test network in terms of connecting with a specific dap web3 dap the process is exactly the same in both the devices so here i have the article i'm going to provide you the link where you will find all the details that how you can do the configuration but let me take you through this so the very first thing you have to do is you have to install the app from the respective play store so once you're done with the first step installing the application after that you have to move to the next step where you have to create your account so if you already have your own wallet you can simply provide the private key i'm going to have access to a particular account in your metamask wallet but if you don't have you can create a new account and by default it's going to pick ethereum network that's the second thing after that you have to simply do the changes in the settings so if you want to interact with the test network or if you want to do the changes in any other blockchain network you can do the modifications you can click on this three dot menu and then you can simply go to the settings once you are in the setting then you have to move to the networks and here you can manage all the network you can simply add network you can enable or disable the test network or you can configure different network from right from this section and this is the exact thing we have in our metamask extension that's what exactly you will get in the application so if you are familiar with the metamask extension you won't, you won't have any issue because we have follow and build multiple projects using metamask once you're done with that here you will find list of all the test network and here we have the main network by default, it will create the main network. But if you want to add any other network like Binance, Polygon or Arbitrum, there is tons of network you have. You can add those network manually. So network section. And if you want to add it, you can simply come back here, click on this add network button and then you can provide all of this detail about the network. So if I want to connect with the Binance, then I have to give the name. I can literally call whatever I want, but make sure to give this data correctly. So this is the RPC URL. Then you have to give the chain ID. This is the symbol. And here we have the Explorer which is an option. Make sure you have to give the right RPC order. Right now we have multiple provider, like we have Acme, we have Infura, and we have the ARKM. I already made a video about that particular tool which you can use to create multiple RPC endpoint for different blockchains. So I'll link that video in the iPad of the description so you can watch that. And that I have explained everything that how you can get the RPC endpoint for any blockchain, for any other blockchain without any limit. So that's the advantage you will have. So from here, once you fill out all of this detail, make sure to save it. So once you will save, it will automatically add in your MetaMask wallet. And now you are ready to interact with the MetaMask and use Binance network in your device. You're going to have the balance. You're going to, be able to see all the tokens which are there for the network. And that's how you can do the configuration as per the network. So far, we have done all of the setups. Now we have to do the configuration about the application which we want to connect with this MetaMask app. So you can configure that one by one because this will not automatically trigger the metamask you have to configure it manually that this metamask app can trigger when we are trying to connect with this particular tab okay so that's what you have to do so for that you have to come back to the browser click on the browser option and then and here you have to provide the website domain which you want to connect and use it with the metamask app so all you have to do is to simply copy the domain name of the website and paste here and simply click done you can add as many websites as you want so when you will try to connect it will automatically going to trigger the metamask app and you can simply connect you will have this option you can simply connect and you can able to make the transaction you can simply connect with the dap you can pick the network and you can simply do all the transaction which we do regularly when we use any application and connect with extension so this is the step which you have to follow again i'm going to give you the link of this article in the description so you guys can simply follow that and this is the exact thing you have to do a lot of you have asked me this so i thought let's make a video and i'm going to share this article so you guys can simply follow and take an idea because these are the basic things you have to know if you really want to work as a blockchain developer or whether you want to do any trade in crypto space so you can do that very easily and you can connect with any web3 dapp with the metamask app metamask is pretty popular but you will have a bunch of options if you use web3 model it will allow you to give multiple options like we have other providers you can simply connect with them so that's the only thing from my end i hope now it's clear to all of you guys that how you can connect with metamask app to any web3 application so with that i'm ending this video hope this helps you if you have any question in doubt do let me know in the comment section definitely i try to help with that have a wonderful day bye, -bye.